Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. And let me start out by apologizing to Ubiquity. Um, I was wrong. The UDM Pro's SFP Plus ports aren't broken. Well, at least not completely. So how did that happen? Well, to figure that out, we need to look at the mobile app because this is what I used to configure the VLANs on the uh, 16XG switch. And when we look at this, we can see that the port by default has an auto negotiation setting set to 10 gigabit. But when you go into the port itself to configure it, if you don't change it back to auto negotiation, or I guess set it to auto negotiation explicitly, it's set to manual, which makes it so that the SFP Plus doesn't negotiate properly at 10 gig. So that's my fault. I should have double checked that. Um, although it's not completely my fault because the app shouldn't show me one thing and then do another. Now that said, you're probably wondering, why are you showing me a, a speed test that's not doing anything? Well, the answer to that is that after I connected everything up using SFP+, Plus, this is what happens when you go to speed test. So let to be clear, WAN is set to SFP+, Plus, and this computer is also connected to directly to the UDM Pro using SFP+. Plus. So there should be 10 gigabits of throughput between my computer and the UDM Pro. And when we go to speed test, it doesn't even load. So the situation is a little bit better if in that same configuration, I had a second computer that has a CAT6 or one gigabit connection to the UDM Pro, and then I can actually run a speed test, but it doesn't work very well. And then just for reference, here's what it should look like when you run uh, this, this speed test on a computer that's connected to the, uh, the network that the UDM is connected to. So again, my apologies to uh, Ubiquity. Next time I'll make sure to double check what the mobile app does.